Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 4 of the autoplay series, where we try and beat Angry Birds Epic without playing the game. And, uh... The, you may be like, this doesn't look like episode 4, it looks like you're on the third battle of the game. And that's because I am. There, 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 there's a bit of a story to this. So, I think, in order to explain why I got back here, I think we need to go all the way back to the beginning. Hello guys and welcome back to part 4 I think of the autoplay series where we try and beat Angry Birds Epic without playing the game. Now if you haven't checked the previous episodes I would highly recommend you do so so you can stay updated with what has been going on previously. But if you did miss it, uh, last episode we beat Castle 4 while only using the autoplay system. And today, we're going to try and beat Castle 5, the stronghold of the final egg. Probably your greatest challenge yet. Now, if you don't know what autoplay is, it's pretty much this button in the lower right hand of the screen. It pretty much automates every single attack every single bird does, which means we can play the game without playing the game. So as you can see here, we have already beat one pig out of the two that remain and already you can see how the AI is surprisingly effective at passing through levels and bosses and stuff. It plays defensively at some parts, in most cases it works out pretty well for us. Again, make sure to like and subscribe, um, it does help me out a lot and it's free. And a large percentage of you guys uh, who watch my videos are not subscribed. So again, double check, make sure that you have. So, so I guess one of the first battles to start off this video is already pretty much just evolving into the most defensive things I've ever seen. Because already this is not going well for us in the slightest. Oh, he, he's at 29 health. Um... So yeah, this is not going great for us. I may want to, you know, leave the battle and uh, restart this from the beginning. So an interesting thing about autoplay is that even though it chooses all the moves for you, everything is very much dependent on what classes you bring. Like in the previous battle, every everybody was playing defensively, but with this setup, you can play a little more offensively, especially with Chuck, you get some extra damage on the uh, Ice Knight before all the other enemies are taking it, taken out, but yeah, so far I think this is going to turn into the same thing it has before, especially with the Ice Pygmies spawning in another one, which is again, not great for us. Another thing about autoplay again is Rage Chili, sometimes it decides really good times to use it sometimes it uses it on the worst possible bird on the worst possible time and um, this time it actually appears to be doing it fairly well but I think the issue is that now we are soft locked because everyone will continue playing defensively there's absolutely no way we can counter attack okay so this time since we're doing using the rogues I was gonna say that we can counter everything but the fact that the knight has a dispel passive is not great for us. Luckily, it's only a 45% chance, which means we should be able to get damage in sometimes. There it is. It's taken like 5 minutes of just non-stop dispelling. But we can finally continue on to the next wave, where things are a little bit, bit more normal. We can play a little bit more offensively. We are fighting a chieftain though, which is not great because he can heal all pigs. But I still think we can take everything out, especially if we can eventually get Chuck's rage ability. So currently we are in not that great of a position because Matilda is almost entirely out of health. But I think we should be able to take him out. Okay, yeah, I think this is going to be it for this stage. Yep, and now we are on to the final wave after this, which is just a basic Howler, which shouldn't be that bad. Uh, There's a little decent amount of health though, which is not great. But again, the nice thing that I want to pay attention to is um, the damage over time with Chuck and the Rogues. 
which is what I really wanted to use in this battle, mostly because, again, we can just focus on other ghosts and stuff that spawn, uh, instead of having to focus on one ghost at a time. Especially if we get Chuck's, oh my god, three ghosts? I thought it was gonna be one. Three, yeah, ghost ally, okay, so it's, um, it's multiple ghosts, that's not great. I hope they use Chuck's rage ability at least. Okay, good. Um, so worst case situation, the Howler's left in a little bit of health. Yep, and now the ghosts will start respawning. But hopefully they still, I think this is it. Okay, nice. Um, that could have gone a lot worse, because I did not expect the Howler to spawn in three ghosts at a time. But, I guess it worked out for us. This wave is a little more dangerous, because we're fighting an Ice Shaman who can steal all received healing. But luckily, the Rain Bird can actually, dis uh, can actually remove harmful effects from targets, which is good for us. Matilda is still losing health, because just, we can't get enough healing, uh... But I think this battle is won. They're gonna use Matilda's Rage Chili because everyone else has theirs blocked, but that's fine, I think. I think, uh... Oh yeah, no. There it is. He pretty much kind of led to his own doom. It wasn't... It was kind of inevitable at that point. Okay, so we've made it to the Pumpkin Plateau, I think. I don't know if this is the Pumpkin Plateau exactly or not. But, whatever it is, um, now we are fighting a bunch of zombie pigs. Which is, again, uh, going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think thanks to uh, the bomb's rage ability and Chuck's Rainbird's um, AoE attacks, I think we should be able to get through all the waves pretty easily. Like, as you can already see, we have taken out two pigs, and next turn, that final pig should be done for, probably. Yes. Now, on to the next wave. Uh, we have already taken out a bit of HP on the Voodoo Berserker. He doesn't, yeah, no, he doesn't actually deal that much damage. But, thanks to Bomb's Rage Chili, we've already taken out almost the second wave at this point. Uh, that's not great for his HP, but we can regen the health. And yet again, uh, we've already almost cleared this wave, and next turn it should be all good now for the final wave we are fighting a necromancer pig which is again not great since he can spawn more undead pigs so it's like just the zombie version of the howler uh i think it's of utmost importance probably to take him out um but yeah, well, we'll see what the a AI does. I don't know if they're going to use Chuck's Chuck or Bomb's uh, Rage Chili, but they're going to use his, and two of the pigs are taken through two, yeah, two of the pigs are taken out with only the Necromancer left, and he's been taken out. Honestly, and we've even leveled up. Um, that was a way easier stage than I thought it would be. And I almost completely forgot we have the Mighty Eagle's Quest unlocked. Uh, we have to get the sword. Since it unlocks mastery, and I'm more interested in, uh, doing, getting classes, because we need as much variety as possible for different scenarios. Like, there's a, I think I want to save up for the Berserker and Wizard and stuff. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna, uh, do the Sword Spirit quest this challenge. I just don't think it's worth the, the time it takes. Maybe I'll do some testing around and see if the AI does well against it, but... I think, again, it's so simple that I don't think it's anything is going to be different than what it is normally. So probably not going to do the Sword Spirit quest, but uh, what I am going to do is try and get to the Guard Pig. So I guess here we go. Again, on our way to fight the Guard Pig, we first have to face off against some pretty simple regular enemies. Again, Guard Captain, Soldier Pigs. Uh, since... It makes sense that we're starting to find more and more of them, considering that we're starting to get closer and closer to Pig City. But, uh... But as for the actual challenge that they offer us, not that much. Uh... I would say maybe the Captain will be a little difficult, considering that he does have Ironclad, which means that the battle is about to get a lot more defensive. But, 
still. I shouldn't be that bad. Oh, surprisingly, Chuck's Rage ability at first, which at least will get us some damage in. Uh, which will hopefully stop a lot, well, shorten a lot of the time taken for this battle. Since it's pretty much the Ice Pig battle, but reskinned at this point. You know, the, if we know how this ends, might as well just skip ahead. Okay, so a few battles later, which they were all Night Pigs, you did not miss anything. We are finally ready to face off against the Royal Bodyguard. And this is a little, going to be a little bit of a challenge. Again, he is ironclad, so everyone is only going to be using passive abilities. Uh, luckily, he does not dispel anything, and I think that's where the majority of things will come into play here. Again, this is going to be a bit of a challenge, because... Again, everyone is going to be playing super defensively for absolutely no reason. Uh, again, what I'm thinking is I need healing, I need counters, and I need a uh, reflection of damage. So that's all I can think of. Unfortunately, that they're only going to be using it on Matilda, but I'm hoping things change next turn. Oh, that's not great, because like 140 damage. And that's it. Uh, hopefully this can cause something to happen at least. But I can't heal enough to outdo the stuff that he does. So it's not going great so far. So I think I've found the end of this challenge. Because I can't... I, I don't have any form of healing that can outdo his, his absurd amount of damage. Uh, he has he has his assault ability, which attacks targets three times, which means that if he attacks a person once, they only get half the, the half the amount of counters back. So, like, let's say they attack Matilda three times, you're still only getting one counter. And the fact that he just heals so much means that we just can't progress past it. Again, since they play defensively, abilities like buy some time won't do anything. Uh, I'm just going through everything at this point. Can't use Captain. You could make a part that Frenzy could do something, but the fact that 15% of 734 is less than, is what, like almost 100 damage, and that isn't that good, to be honest. Freezing Barrier might not be that bad, actually, right? Because you can freeze them. But how are you supposed to still deal damage to them? That's what I'm thinking. Or Lightning Bird, because Lightning Bird can play... Uh, can not be bad. Here's what I'm thinking. So hear me out here. I use... I, I'm just thinking of... If, if I can use the Frost Savage, and I can... If I use Frost Savage, Lightning Bird, and treasure hunters i should be able to continually stun him and be able to uh what is it be able to put back his uh charge charge and again we can play offensively thanks to the lightning bird's ability i think that's what we have to do uh and again i know that i know that glitches are not the greatest idea and i know that especially the free class glitch is uh can only end horribly it can only end horribly but uh and i i, I know that, that that it can cause your game to like just die uh it can cause your save file to be corrupted or whatever whatever but i think i have to do it anyways i know that this is horrible th th this is a horrible idea let me preface this you should not be using this glitch at all because it can cause your save file to die but pretty much using the free class bug allows you to use any class at any time and uh it's pretty much what we need to beat the royal bodyguard kind of afraid of how this will go like that that i think that's what we'll absolutely going to need to use i really ho start hoping that they use the tricksters like that that is what we need um, and using this tactic, that this is how we can actually win. Uh, 
We don't have any healing. <laughs> that's what I also just realized. Uh, so that's not going to end well. And here's the thing. Auto play is used to attack, but we can't use, uh, use chili cakes or anything or banana juice. What I'm thinking is maybe we go with a super offensive uh, setup, but we switch off of auto play when birds are low to heal them up. That's what my that's what I'm thinking we can do, because I can't think of much more good ideas as it stands currently. So maybe that's what we have. Trixie trick would work, right? Because we can still t dish out damage. That's just lightning bird, but even but not bad, right? No, but it's only 35% damage. Mostly so I can do that. 35% damage is applied to all. Mirror image could be could work well for me, actually. Okay. I'm gonna test out this. Hope it works. We'll see. Uh I don't know if this strategy will work or not. Um it might, might not, who knows? We got the stun though. We did get the stun. Uh I think that this strategy is actually working. Wait, the druid is actually attacking. Uh, not Druid, the, uh, what's it, the Bard? I, I, it's, it is Bard, isn't it? Oh, dear. And he heals for almost 100% of his HP. Not great. Uh, again, we get the stun. The nice thing is we have, like, a 30% chance of stunning every single turn. Which, again, is amazing for us. Uh, we do need healing, though. That is a very fair thing. But I think... Shulkers actually might work out. Okay, so this is not working out. Um, and that's for the simple reason that he heals too much. I don't know. There are no birds that can dispel that. Um, here's what I'm thinking. The stuns are really nice. That's the thing. But I think we ab might absolutely need a bird that can uh So I understand what they meant by it soft locks your game. Because this ladies and gentlemen has soft locked my game. So I may have to restart the game actually. So very funny story here. Um my game file kind of corrupted. Not great. Not great at all. So I may need to restart this game. From the ground up. So, in a nutshell, that's pretty much how I lost my autoplay save file. Recovering it is pretty much impossible, so you may think that now I have to spend another 10 hours progressing through the game again. However, that isn't my only choice. I still do have a save file. It's just on my phone. So, not to disappoint you guys, I have a plan. I'm gonna beat Castle 5 and Wizpig's Castle with my overpowered gear, just to prove that it is possible to beat the game with autoplay only. However, as an actual challenge, we're gonna save the biggest boss for last, the Royal Bodyguard. This is going to be it. The final three battles of this challenge. So starting back up in the in King Pig's castle, as you can see, our power is pretty higher than theirs. But with that being said, we're, st we're going to beat this legit with only the classes that I do have unlocked. So uh, we're also going to go no Matilda for no healing. Well, we have Rainbird, but you know, still. Actually, you know what? No, no healing at all. We're going to only use... Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll do two birds. Yeah, only two birds, no healing. Just, you know, for the extra challenge of it all, because we're so overpowered. But, um, you can see how it kind of, uh, we're still kind of invincible, but we can still see what happens. Um, so we can kind of one-shot most things, you know. Uh, it's about what you would expect from being like 40 levels more advanced than what you're supposed to be, but still. Uh, 
Yeah, second wave already done. It's been less than a minute. We only have two left. They are dealing absolutely no damage to us. However, we can still take them out within the next turn. Going to the fourth stage out of five. Again, who knows if they're going to use their... Again, a classic autoplay. Using the Rage Chili in a pretty bad location, but still one-shotting the Guard Pig. Leaving only the final stage left. So... Uh, Bomb's going for Prince Porky, which again is not a great move overall. But still... We can see, we'll see how things go. Oh. So again, they're, they're kind of prioritizing not the greatest things. But this is where things are going to start to get a little more tough. Because now we have no more Rage Chili. And, well, I say that, but Whizpig's already almost dead alongside King Pig. But even then, the Captain is losing, like, a fair bit of HP. So, you know... This battle could be a little closer than you think. But with Chuck's Rage ability already charged up, this could be it. The fifth castle could be beat. So we'll see what happens in a few seconds. No? There it is. King Pei is defeated. And only Prince Porky remains. Uh... And I think next turn, that's going to be it. He only has 245 health. And there it is. Fifth castle beat with only autoplay. That leaves only two battles left. So we start up Whizpig's castle with three birds, which may seem like a lot. But again, we need as much possible ways to dispel effects as we can because you will quickly see, no matter how overpowered we are, if we can't dispel of effects, then Whizpig's gonna go right back up to max HP, no matter what we do. So, you'll see it. Oh? Actually, since Whizpig didn't use his own abilities, I think we're already done with the first phase here. If this works out, yeah, it does. And Whizpig has been taken out, which means we are on to... Demonic Whiz Pig. The final foe, technically, Matilda already got a stun. Oh my god, okay. This is going to be absolute destruction. And Whiz Pig spawns in two ghosts, but they do absolutely nothing. Oh, uh, the blues are using their effects, and... He, he's already down to 1,700 health. I think that it's pretty easy to see that it is technically possible to beat the game with autoplay guaranteed that you level pow power skill yourself hard enough which is possible uh due to the one part at the start of hoghead mountain you can easily get yourself up to level 100 and pretty much breeze through the entire game so you can beat the game with autoplay if it weren't for one level one singular level that's just a regular mini boss fight the royal bodyguard now, I've tried to power scale my weapons as low as I could. Um, I don't have that many, re I didn't have that too many recipes that I could just have on hand. Uh, so I tried to get as low as I could. It, as you can see, it's still a little bit, a little bit better than it needs to be. So I'm just going to try and go with the weakest birds I have, which I think, I don't know what they're going. I'm just going to go with two birds, only, uh, rain bird and... Uh, this is tough. No, I'm gonna go with Lightning Bird. I need the Lightning Bird. And I'm going to go with Cleric. That's what I'm going to do. So, starting up the battle, we are already being offensive with Chuck. Wait, he's actually attacking. Huh? Oh, wait, that's because of his secondary ability. I'm not smart. But Matilda's attacking as well, though, which is interesting. I don't know if that means that AI is different when there's only two birds. Because if so, then it could just be possible to beat it normally without any premium classes. And not being overpowered like I am currently. Yeah. So... He's, he's gone. 
it's it's been done but can it be done normally i don't know but i think with that i think it's been proven beating angry birds with with only autoplay in uh, theoretically is possible in practicality it's super inefficient in most cases like the entirety of the ninjas and uh you may have to grind a lot especially in like the one farming place in hog and mountain but you can do it if you put your mind to it if you spend enough time just afk and just repeating stuff over and over again you can beat the entirety of angry birds epic with only autoplay and you know that is pretty impressive in of itself but i think that'll be all